We're going to have a, uh, right now, folks, if you want to tune into the Facebook page, you can check out some live board audio fed video of uh, Mark and Gary. And uh, glad to have you in the studio today. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Uh, let's kick off the show with one of your one of your tunes played live here. Here we go. All right. Oh yes, I'm making my way down that raging river, down that raging river that keeps rolling on me. Well, I'm gonna ride that old raging river, let that river carry me straight to the sea. Well, now sometimes life is like a raging river. When you come up on trouble, there's no where to turn. You just hold it steady down the stretch and that rules. Trouble comes, keep your power in the stern. Yes, I'm making my way down that raging river, down that raging river that keeps rolling on me. And I'm gonna ride that old raging river, let that river carry me. Folks, you listen to Mark Baumgartner and Gary Wiley here live in the studio, and we're setting up all the the live video here. I want to catch Gary's face in there too. Uh, you might not just want to keep it working. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you both for coming in today. Uh, so uh, I was checking it out, and uh, uh, you guys do the lobster trap every other that's, Friday. That's a regular every other Friday thing that we do here in town, yes. Very nice. I'm going there right after this. Oh. Yeah, right. yeah I'm playing with uh, Bill, uh, Bobby Miller. Bobby Miller. Yeah. You're a Virginia daredevil tonight. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Uh, uh, but very cool. Uh, let's talk about what you got coming up here at Merle Fest. I know yeah, big Merle Fest week. Always an exciting week. Uh, and getting to go down there and do that, uh, I guess this is my sixth, seventh year now, I guess, being involved with those folks and very appreciative that they have me and uh, uh, a couple of different duties that I have kind of uh, evolved into in addition to performing. Um, I also do some emceeing for them. I uh, uh, MC both uh I guess two of what they claim to be their premier events now. One is the uh, Chris Austin Songwriting Contest, which is held on Friday. That's the 26th at 2 o'clock in the Austin Center. I get to co-host that and MC along with uh, Jim Lauderdale. So that's kind of cool. always a big highlight for me to get to hang with Jim a little bit and see all the great songwriting uh, finalists each year. And then... Um, on Saturday, I am uh, hosting the uh, Merle Fest band competition, and uh, it's about, I think, 10 bands across the day, the full day, or most of the day. I think it starts about 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, goes till about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So wow. They get 15 minutes and give us what you got. How to localize. 
last one or get it last year. That's right. Ashley Heath last won last year. Yeah. We've had, let's see, this is the sixth year that we've had it, and we've had two groups from Asheville win it. Uh, the first group uh, was uh, uh, Fireside Collective. That was, I can't remember if that's two or three years ago that they won it, but they've certainly uh, come on strong and now touring nationally and just making everybody proud. And then last year, Ashley, too, that was that was a really uh, a thrilling moment for everybody because she and her group just did such a bang up job. I mean, they, the thing was, they went on second. So you figure second out of 10 bands that's getting judged across a day to be able to stay in the number one slot all the way till four o'clock. You know, the odds, uh, I don't know that anybody has uh, finished uh, or, or won the event in that early of a slot. But uh, they did a great job and then had a, an awesome uh, slot on the cabin stage between, I think they were between Sam Bush and, and the final act, which was Buddy Miller and Jim Lauderdale. And they killed it. They just, they were big league that night, for Indeed. sure. Yeah, uh, Ashley is one of our very favorite people, not only that we've had here on the air, but just in town. Yeah. Um, what a cool competition. It takes a lot of guts to go up there and do something like uh, that. Especially, certainly does. you know, coming from out of town uh, to a festival that uh, I know that Ashley hadn't played there before. I think that was no, her first I experience. I don't, I don't think so. Most of, most of the groups that are there have not played there before. I mean, that's it's a good it's a good way to enter into the Merle Fest world for sure. Very cool. And you MC that event, and you're also performing. We are performing. Gary will be performing with me this year. I'm doing a, uh, a show at 1240, I think a little 15-minute show in the Austin Center, the same place that the songwriting contest is held. Um, that, that day on Friday, uh, there's a showcase that, uh, let's see, I'm thinking uh, Joe Smothers, who was uh, uh, played in one of Doc's bands early on or back in the 70s as well as T. Michael Coleman they're going to be in that uh, Carol Rifkin locally, locally oh, okay. will also be performing on that uh, it's called the Doc Watson Showcase something or another I can't remember off the top of my head and then we'll be playing a, a full set uh, on the Creekside stage at 5.30 Friday afternoon so nice yeah. and where can folks find uh, more info online uh, MarkBumgarnerMusic.com That's where I do my best to keep up with it. Awesome. Very cool. Um, folks, we're sitting here. Thank you for listening to WPBM. We're sitting here with Mark Baumgartner and Gary Wiley, uh, also known as Hillbilly Diamond. Uh, folks, uh, maybe we can get them to play a couple more for us. Sure. I'll tell you what, let's do, uh, let's do Cross to Bear. And the reason I mentioned that one is that's a song that I co-wrote with, uh, Another Asheville uh, musician, Charles Humphrey, who plays with the songs on the, songs from the Road Band. Oh yeah, Charles and I. I guess it, we haven't written a lot uh, or in the last couple of years, but we we really knocked out quite a few tunes uh, uh, back several years ago, and uh, I, a lot of them I still do. I mean, are a good solid part of my show, uh, but this is one that. Uh, I'm including on a new project that I'm hoping to have done here in the next month or two. And it's also a song that was recently on uh, the new Balsam Range album. Uh, so anyway, real proud of it. And uh, just want to send a shout out there to Charles as well. It's called uh, My Cross to Bear. What's done is done, no turning back. You can't bury the truth, but you can't hide the fact. Blood on my hands, can you wash it clean? May all that remains remain unseen.
Mark Baumgartner and Gary, Gary Wiley live here in the WPVM studio. That was the original song. And, uh, well, uh, thank you all for coming out. We got uh, Mark Baumer, Mark Baumgartner music.com. That's it. And that's where folks can go uh, to get more information on what Mark and Gary are doing, uh, including uh, the upcoming Merle Fest. Uh, Mark is the host of the band competition and is also playing a set on Friday afternoon. Uh, as well as every other week at the Lobster Trap downtown. All over town, yeah. Wherever they'll have us. Wherever they'll have you. <laughs> right on. Um, very cool. So a lot of your uh, songwriting is being found um, uh, from other, being performed by other artists. And, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I've, all, I've been fortunate that... Uh, Especially with uh, the Haywood County fellas, the Balsam Range guys have been really good to me. They've cut, I don't know, I'm up to six or seven tunes, I guess, across their catalog, I guess, back to their first album. And, uh, yeah, the Americana guy that gets gets some bluegrass cuts every now and then, I guess, is what it's amounted to. But, uh, you know, I'm... I'm I'm in the process right now of trying to finish up uh, a project I've been kind of working on, piddling at uh, for a, a couple of years now. Uh, I'm fortunate that I have a facility where I can do my own recording, and oh, cool! You know, so uh, just kind of wading through the bulk of my material to find those ten tunes that go together, and you know, end up sounding like I want them to, and um, you know. The, the area that we live in, uh, we have so many great musicians that are so giving of their time and their talent that will come up to the cabin up there in Barnardsville and, you know, lay down a track for me here and there. So I've got a lot of a lot of the uh, folks that are, you know, part of the Asheville music scene uh, that will be on that, that project. So Very cool. Yeah. Oh, we can't wait to hear... Uh, all the surprises in store on your album from local folks and from uh, and from your pen as well. Um, so, when when you collaborate with other artists and they record something that you wrote, and you hear it, does it often come out uh, close to the vision that you had when you wrote it, or does it come out often completely different? Um, I mean, generally, I would say it's. In the ballpark, I mean, you know, there may be some tempo differences or, or uh, arrange, you know, some arrangement changes. Uh, I know, like the song that I just played, uh, uh, the the Balsam Range guys uh, did it at a little little slower tempo. Actually, that may have been the tempo <laughs> that we did at right there. But uh, like, uh, I I double the uh, the hook line at the end of the second verse. They double it at the end of the first verse and don't on the second. You know, little things here and there. And the way I my philosophy is, just cut it. I, you do, do it however you want to. Just right. cut it. So Very cool. Yeah. Must be a great honor to have folks record. It, it stuff. certainly is. It certainly is. I had a I had a group that was out of Johnson City called Wolf Creek that did a song that actually was the first song that. Uh, Balsam Range cut uh, that I co-wrote with Mylon Miller called Burning Georgia Down and they, it, which is kind of an up-tempo bluegrassy song and that's the way I do it too, but they did it in like a three-quarter time power ballad type thing. Now that's that's probably the most off the, uh, the path that I was on rendition of one of my songs that but it's like, hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't thinking about that. So. Yeah, right. People found gold where you weren't even digging. Well, well you, know, well, you do, already had the gold. Well, you know, the thing is, is I, I, I do that a lot, too. I mean, we, uh, I always say it would bore me to death to think that I could only do my own songs, which right. I've got a lot of material now over the years, and I've, you mm -hmm. know, I've got a good solid amount of material that I can go out and do, you know, original shows, original sets, several, you know, uh, quite a few. And, uh, but, you know, I, I, I I like doing material that either speaks to me or is just, hey, man, I really like that song. But I always try to do it, you know, like I do it. I mean, yeah. come out sounding like me versus, you know, when you're young and you're in cover bands, you try to sound like... All your influences. Like your influences. But, you know, at some point, that 
the, the switch gets flipped and it's like, okay, this is the way I hear it. This is the way that I do it. And so, yeah, you I, know. I feel like I'm just getting into that part as an artist recently. Um, I don't know. I just kind of surrendered to believing that, well, this is the best I'm going to get out of my voice. So I might as well have as much fun with it as I can. Yeah. You know, I just well, that's it. I mean, make it. it make it work for the way your voice. It's just like uh, when I was younger, it was all about trying to sing them where they sang them. And it's like, but I realized my, my it isn't about singing high for me. It's about singing down here where I'm, you know, speaking now. So uh, that that took some changing around and getting getting familiar with or accepting the capo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, is that your capo right there? It's a, what kind of capo are you using? There? That is a uh, shove there, and it's. I, I like the capos that you know you adjust the amount of tension on. Right. And uh, also because it's made that way, I won't lose it. That's oh, really very the, cool. That's the big yeah. thing. But I do have to keep up with this one. And if let's do the Monday Blues if we're going to do one, okay. we got, we're going to do yes, one sir. more because one of the things I love to sing in the key of F. I do too. Yeah, it's a great key. So doing this little number right here. All right. Oh, I like how the tuning is, folks. I just in case you're just tuning in, I uh, just want to remind y'all that you're listening to WPVM live in the studio right now with Mark Baumgartner, Gary Wiley. Uh, folks, also known as Hillbilly Diamond, take it away. All right, this is a song uh, that I wrote about. Uh, this is I like to say when I had a day gig, I uh, wrote this song on the way to work one day, one Monday morning, and uh, sure got it here. This is another one of the songs that uh, Awesome Range cut quite some time back. Uh, well, two or three records ago, I guess. But they pretty much straight grasped it. And as a matter of fact, one of the uh, uh, CD or album projects that I have, I originally did it in more of a straight bluegrass banjo and had the full complement, dobros and f fiddles and all of that uh, okay. type thing going on. And uh, But it has evolved for me as well. So I kind of got it going this way now. Hot stuff. Right on. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Mark Baumgartner, Gary Wiley, live in the studio, uh, Hillbilly Diamond, Mark, Mark Baumgartner Music.com. Folks, you can check out the schedule, all the news that you need to know about Mark and Gary there. Um, every other week. Is it next week you're back on at the Lobster Track or Trap or this? No, uh, it's next Friday, not this coming Friday. Right. Yeah, this will be at Merle Fest this coming Friday. That's yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think about that in a minute. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's right. My bad. Uh, yeah, Merle not Fest Friday. You got the uh, the songwriting competition you're hosting, and then your set at in the afternoon, 5. 530 on the Creekside stage. So cool. Thank you all for yeah, joining yeah. Thank us. Thank you, Spiro. My good friend Gary, so good to see you again. Good to see you. Holding down that low end, right on. Give it a try. 
Um, folks, uh, once again, you can visit markbaumgarnermusic.com and get all of the information uh, about the upcoming events, including the festival this weekend. And uh, we look forward to hearing a lot more from you all, including your, your new album that you have coming on the way. And uh, we'll be right back. Um, let's listen to some new music from Josh Blake. Uh, this is Into the Void with Colonel Bruce. There comes a time on every trip 